Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Copyright. Why should you and I care about it? Well, we don't want to be sued. Copyright is just one part of intellectual property, which refers to things that are created by the mind and produced in some format. So for businesses, it's industrial property, patents, logos, designs. Copyright protects the expression of ideas presented in a format. So it's literary works, movies, videos, dance, and an expression of the idea in a format's protected. You cannot copyright an idea. And copyright and industrial property, they have different time lengths of when things are protected. But things do fall out of that and go into public domain. And that allows us to use the works how we want without seeking the permission of the author or the author's family or the creator or creator's family. And why has this all been done? It's all to do with money. So when we are working in class and we are taking an image or we're taking a video clip or we're taking quotes from a book, we need to make sure that we give credit to that author. Plagiarism. Don't do it. That's all there is to it. Just don't do it. And the reason why we can take these things and use them in class is because of a codified concept called fair use. Fair use allows us to use mid copyright materials for educational and informational purposes, for parodies and commentaries, and for research and scholarship. But you still have to make sure you give credit to the original person. You want to give credit to them. Hence, citation styles, APA, MLA, Turabian, Chicago. There's also many out there. We're going to focus on APA and MLA in our class because those are the two that are used most on this campus. Sorry, guys, I got a little fumbled at the end of that last lecture. What I was trying to get to tell you about was an actual real-life plagiarism case. It had to do with the Duffer Brothers and the creator of Stranger Things. From what I understand from the case, because I've been trying to read all up on it, is that this gentleman Kessler approached the Duffer Brothers at a film festival and they were talking about what they were doing. He presented an idea to the Duffer Brothers and then the Duffer Brothers supposedly took his idea and created Stranger Things. So Kessler was saying they plagiarized his idea. Well, what gets complicated, you cannot, when you break the copyright law, you cannot copyright an idea only an expression of that idea in a format. But he says, well, they stole his idea. Well, it's an idea. It's not copyrighted. However, he did create a short film. So you do actually have a copyrighted piece of material. There's things that go on in this case, and it basically comes down to Kessler backs off. He says that he... He states that after hearing the disposi despo de disposition testimony, disposition testimony this week of the legal expert I hired, it is now apparent to me that whatever I may have believed in the past, my work has nothing to do with the creation of Stranger Things, said Kessler in a Sunday statement. But so plagiarism happens everywhere. I'm sure you've also heard some other famous people who might have got caught plagiarizing their senior thesis at a college. So basically, just don't do it. Make sure you cite the materials and give credit to the person who created it originally. Thanks guys for listening. We'll move on from here.